American Revolutionary Army from Mr. Goodbites, Adam slash Lucas. First of all, I'm glad Adam made it out of jail in one piece. I don't know what those cops are thinking playing by old rules in this new technology-driven age. It almost makes you wonder why they allowed us plebeian commoners such open access to video cameras and such. Perhaps the free market, such as it is, still works in our favor sometimes. It always works in our favor. But yeah, in this case, you're you're right to point this out. Like, it really is just old rules that they're, oh, we can just fuck with political dissidents. We can just go and try to tackle them in the middle of a crowd for doing nothing. Like, they're there with video cameras themselves. In fact, there was a, a, a videographer in, excuse me, a man with a camera in an interesting costume that said Philadelphia Police on it at the event. So yeah, they know that there's video footage. They know Know that we've got video cameras too. Anyway, I fully agree that the time has come for America to stop allowing its rogue government to persist. I'm impressed with how your vision has expanded to a more national level event. And while I agree with it in principle, I fear it ultimately will be too little too late. Again, the arguments against taking a stand are, are, are endless. And now this is actually a, 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 the, the, one that, the one that has the most credibility. Too little too late. Yeah, it might be too little too late. So should we not try? Should we not find out? Should we ensure that it is too little too late by not acting and waiting some more? The politicians, even the aides and advisors, cannot be trusted. It goes without saying the lobbyists and constituents, as well as those in D.C., are complicit in crimes against American society as well as humanity as a whole. Each day this criminal empire is allowed to exist, the more tarnished our reputation becomes, the more freedoms we will lose, the more control clandestine groups will control here and abroad. I wish I could meet you to fully determine whether you are an agent of some alphabet agency, like some claim you are, or if you are in reality the embodiment of what so many patriots like myself have been thinking and feeling for years. Well, it's definitely not the first but I would think it should be a bit of a stretch to fully live up to the latter. I can only go off of faith in my own discernment that you are just in your cause and genuine in your words. If not, I feel for you because no amount of federal assistance will protect you from the rounds I will seek you out with. Indeed. Indeed. And if it were to ever come out that I was such, I would expect no less. And that's why I would never... And I don't think there could ever be a, a federal agent doing what I'm doing. And, and, and I understand that some people see one or two things that I've done and, and, and are suspicious or, or heard one YouTube video or something like that. But holy fucking shit, does my body of work not speak for itself at this point? 250 something podcasts and, 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 and 2400 something YouTube videos and countless speeches and demonstrations and actually risking my life for this cause. If I'm a government plant, I, I must be the worst, most ineffective, counterproductive one ever. And I don't think that if the government was trying to do anything that I am capable of, that they would bother or allow someone like me to have as much of a positive effect that I'm so very proud of having had in waking people up to what a criminal enterprise government is. I have witnessed much in these few awakened years of my life since the war, and nothing distresses me more than knowing how well disguised a Fed can be. 2,400 YouTube videos, 260-something podcasts, that's a pretty good disguise if that's, if that's how well disguised I could be. But no, it's not possible. Trust me. I do not think we should wait until the 4th to act, but rather should act immediately with the goal of true return to independence by the 4th, as that is what the day actually symbolizes. That may just be my eagerness to get it going already, but it is how I feel. I have never been one to give my opponent sufficient time to stage against me. Well, Jesse... Mr. Goodbites, please, please join us on Independence Day. And trust me in saying that if this is only the beginning, next Independence Day will be that much more significant. We will continue to build this momentum. The American Revolutionary Army will continue to march. Whether you like it or not, you can lead, follow, or get out of the way. But we need people to step up and organize in their home states. So if you want to get involved, Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y at AdamVersusTheMan.com. You can be patient, plan your attacks, be measured in your actions, and see that this is not a short-term battle. This is a long-term 
long-term war, and we, the people, are destined to win. My bags are packed, my powder is dry, my weapons are cleaned and well-maintained. I will march with or without you against tyranny in all its forms for as long as breath fills my lungs in liberty. Jesse L. I guess I might as well say his last name here since he identifies himself as Secretary of the Louisiana Libertarian Party, Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. Jesse Losey will see you on the front lines. Did pretty well part of the way, but... So, wait, wait, so now you're comparing Mitt Romney to a Ford Focus. <laughs> it's hard to let go of fear, isn't it? You're becoming part of a system of material support for the actions of our military.